have today is transferring these two fish over to a new tank. And the thing to remember with this is that there's going to be a temperature variation between old tank and new tank because this is a three foot one. When you're transferring fish to a bigger tank, you use what I call new fish procedure. And that means you've got to uh, acclimatise your fish to a new tank because there's going to be a temperature variation in this one with it being a larger body of water. Anyway, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is boil some of the water out of the old tank into a clean bowl to give your fishes some sort of swimming and um, it's a fairly exacting procedure is this and you want to bail just to above height to where fishes are swimming one thing to remember is to uh, rinse your net if it's got a bit of algae and crap on it to rinse it and then before you actually net your fishes leave it to soak for a couple of seconds in original water then what we've got to do is remove all all stuff in here, all pots and pans in here and um, put them into the new tank once you've removed all your um, obstructions from the tank give your net a bit of a whizzy whizzy round, check it out and to net your fish, what you want to do is you want to be on off, um, eggs, well, one side at tank in particular, and just draw your net in very slowly towards your fish, then you've got it. Quickly transfer it. Quickly try and transfer it. That's got it. Sometimes it gets tangled up in there and it's not very good. It's a bit traumatic for fish if it gets tangled up, but not to worry. It's probably in shock. <coughs> right. Now we're going for our second one. Net at opposite end at tank, slowly drowning. Got a few leaves there. Fishing net. <coughs> slowly inverted. And there you are. Right. Seemed okay. Now we've got to get them into a plastic bag and um, when you put them in a plastic bag of course you want to use original water. Okay so I've got my fishing bag. Um, same as always you need about 20 minutes to acclimatise your fish to temperature in your tank and all the time while you're doing this. You want to be keeping an eye on your fish and making sure they're all right. Uh, they look a bit unhappy there, but just keep tilting the bag up so they've got a bit of room to swim about. If it's not so, uh, if it's not so level, just tilt it up manually. And I know it's a bummer, but for this golden twenty minutes, you've. Uh, you have got to do this, otherwise I could suffocate. And you need to make sure you're getting plenty of air into the bag as well. I hate this procedure, I really do. It's one of the worst ones. And um, you might have noticed that I've got the fish at opposite end of the filter, so we're not going to be too traumatised. <coughs> This tank's been left to stand for about 8 days, um, ideal should be 10 days so for uh, chlorination to work and cycling to work. 
so we're doing it a bit, doing it a bit prematurely, but conditions in other tank weren't all that great, so that's why we're doing it now. It's a bit of a traumatic procedure for this for a goldfish, so while you're doing this, you've uh, got to keep tilting your bag, making sure your fish are swimming level up and make sure you've got a nice wide air gap in top and also it pays to have a bit of uh, tape on standby as well to tape it to the side at tank you've really got to, you've really got to be in with this you've really got to supervise this you can't just leave it When it's time to release them, all you do is uh, peel tape gently, gently. Tip bag onto its side, into water, and they'll swim out of their own free will. Oh, well, they should. Then they're out. They look okay in a new environment, none the worse for wear. Um, of course you want to keep an eye on them for the next hour and perhaps give them some food as um, a bit of, uh, what's his name? Anyway, you want to give them some food just to make up for the ordeal and put the mines off it a bit. When you're feeding fish for the first time in a new aquarium, you want to evenly distribute your food from one side of the tank to the other so your fish get more or less have an incentive to explore the new environment and get settled in. So we'll leave them for the next few minutes. One thing about uh, these big ta tank setups is um, they are a bit noisy and you can probably hear water rushing so what I've had to do is put some sound deadening material in, well it's rudimentary anyway. I made, um, I made a wooden cover and the uh, drawback to that is when moisture gets on wood it condensates. So I've lined it with a uh, bin liner, it's a fairly tight fitting bin liner and it's been tacked, on, tacked around outside, tacked all around outside. It's not an ideal solution this, um, I've tried to get some perspex from DIY store but they don't have any so until I can come up with some of that, that's, that's all I can do for now. <coughs> Another drawback to having a big tank is that you need to keep a stock of water. And the best way to do that is by keeping it in a trash can, such as this one. And your trash can needs to be absolutely surgically clean. It's got to really be clean. And the only way to go with this is a new trash can. So you've that's been left to stand for about a week and um, that's for a tank change. You need to do a tank change about, well, not a tank change, a partial water change about once a week, so that'll be on standby for that. and you need to keep a lid on it to keep dust out. Anyway, back to the tank. seems to be doing okay. Got more room to swim about in. And I am looking to put a third fish in this tank and I think rule of thumb is that you need about 10 gallons of water to one fish. That seems to be a rule of thumb with this. And 
this is about 18 gallons so I'm going to put a third one in just, a, just one more in just for a bit of variation I'm not going to put any plants in this tank straight away because it might be a bit traumatic for fish because they've got to get used to the new environment so I've always had a bit of spinach leaf in there so I'll just put a bit of cabbage and a bit of spinach in just to give them a few things to nibble at well so far these two look none the worse for our raw deal um, there seems to be foraging ok they've uh, always been good feeders these two and they seem to be fairly well and uh, ok and I think they'll adjust to this new environment ok and that's it for now one more thing about this um, business of using a bin liner you can't use this on a tropical tank because it'll be a serious fire hazard it could get wrapped around tank heater and uh, you could set fire to your house so if you've got a tropical tank don't use this bin liner method or if you've got tank lights don't use it either because it can be fairly dangerous and at some point it's going to have to be replaced with perspex if you've got noise issues with filter you can always bung some cardboard over the top And uh, that's cover for it, it's uh, a bit patriotic, but at least it's nice and tidy with that cover on it. The idea being that 